Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Three Takeaways, my brief uh, video podcast of some books that have had a pretty profound impact on the way I look at the world and teach in my classroom at Florida State University. We're in at Florida State University. I am the director of the DeVoe L. Moore Center, which is an applied public policy research institute in the College of Social Sciences and Public Policy. And I teach classes on social entrepreneurship, research methods, uh, urban planning, and urban economics and policy. Today, I would like to talk about uh, Pope Francis and the Caring Society with a forward by uh, Michael Novak. This is a book about Catholic teaching and recently there was a statement put out by the Vatican on the Caring Society sort of outlining some ideas in which the church was going to approach um, how to look at interaction and engagement in society in terms of looking at caring and what does that mean in the context of theology as well as uh, Christian practice. Uh, this is actually important because Catholicism is one of the most important, if not the, the most important, well, the, possibly the most important religion, or at least Christianity is, in the world right now. So these statements are non-trivial, and in fact they affect the campus life and they affect the way we interact with, with people on a, on a daily basis. And um, Truth in advertising. I self-identify as a Christian, although I, uh, while I was raised in the Catholic Church, I am no longer attending Catholic churches. Um, I go to a non-denominational church here in Tallahassee. So, what are my three takeaways? Um, first of all, I think what is very clear is that the church is taking this whole notion of what a caring society is very, very seriously. Under Pope Francis, there is very much this re-emphasis on social ethics and understanding the morality that drives Christian ethics and what does that mean in terms of how we engage with people. And so I think we can take this on face value, certainly based not only on the statements of the, of the church, but also certainly the writings in this book on Pope Francis and the Caring Society really helps give us a sense of that. So my second takeaway is that there is a really important emphasis in the, under the Pope Francis and the Catholic Church on poverty and what we might call generally social justice. This isn't necessarily the kind of social justice we might find from liberation theology, which is very egalitarian and also very hostile to entrepreneurship. Although the authors in this book, um, it's an edited volume, do point out that the current church, unlike Joe, uh, the previous pope, or actually, I'm sorry, um, Pope John Paul II doesn't really value or that for that matter seem to understand entrepreneurship per se. Nevertheless, there is very much a very, an important emphasis on reaching out to the poor, lifting others up who don't have the resources or might be deprived of those resources, and also to think about what, do we mean, what does it mean by freedom when we're trying to empower people to become fully actualized human beings. So I think that's important. My third takeaway is that the Vatican really doesn't understand economics. And as a result, they really don't understand economic development. Um, again, this is my area of academic as well as practical expertise. I've spent 30 years in public policy focusing mainly on economic development and transportation policy. And uh, I've taught, I teach uh, state and, and local economic development at Florida State University as well as entrepreneurship. And what is striking is how naive the Vatican's view of economics and entrepreneurship seems to be, as if the only thing that matters in a capitalist economy is profit. And that certainly is not true. In fact, it's been known for a number of years that there's more to capitalism and there's more to free markets than purely the ledger on the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement. In fact, a moral and social and system of social ethics have always been fundamental to those systems. And if you don't understand that connection, it's really hard to understand and really recognize the role economics plays in lifting entire generations out of poverty. It, the United Nations, Many other groups have recognized that capitalism has been absolutely essential to lifting most of the world's out, world out of poverty. And unfortunately, I don't get the sense in this book that the Vatican really understands how that entrepreneurial capitalism, capitalist society really works, where that wealth creation comes from. And that's, uh, but on the other hand, that's probably why it's good that this book has been written. So we actually have economists and business professors who are actually providing a respectful critique of the Vatican's position on this in the context of a caring society. So I think this book, um, Pope Francis and the Caring Society, is a really valuable addition 
to the debate on this intersection between economics and social ethics. Uh, very important book. Um, I dip into it and really pull some things out of each chapter and the different perspectives that are being added in it quite frequently. And uh, so I highly recommend it for anyone who's interested in this connection, in this nexus between ethics, caring, and what it means in a contemporary world in which the Vatican has a really important role to play, as well as Pope Francis as, as the leader of the Catholic Church.